God! You surprised me. Especially since my birthday is eight months away. This isn't a surprise party. Good, because I would have been really disappointed in the turnout. I told them about your friends. And we are here for an intervention because we love you and we want to help. Um, are they, they here now? Should we find a, a psychic to do a seance or something? No, they're here. In fact, uh, Catherine is suggesting that you get a psychic to see if there's a good haircut in your future. Hey, Catherine's the mean one. No, it's me. It's my fault. I created them. I just can't seem to get rid of them. No, it is our fault for making you feel so left out. And we were not paying attention to your feelings, and we are going to fix it. We are going to get you a boyfriend. So you can be one of us. Huh. Heather thinks that you guys sound like body-snatching aliens and is worried that the boyfriend is a ploy to turn me into mm. a relationship pod person. Well, you can tell Heather that she should start looking for her own boyfriend because pretty soon she's not going to have you to hang around with. Wait, can they have... Boyfriends? Catherine says yes. But different kinds of boyfriends than you guys have, not losers. I'm sorry. I can't believe I just repeated that. Forget it. It's fine. We have thought of every eligible guy mm -hmm. that we know, and we found someone very special. <laughs> His name is Mark. He works in my office. He is really funny, really cute. He has been too busy becoming successful to have a girlfriend, but now he's ready to concentrate on the rest of his life. You're gonna love him. What do you think? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> At least pod people don't spend Saturday night doing imaginary makeovers. Clay. Right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you uh, wanna come in? Sure. Wine, beer, root vegetable, organic drink that tastes like death. <laughs> Uh, maybe wine to start. I'll work up to the hard stuff. <laughs> Cheers. So I've kind of left something out. Uh-oh. And it's something I would probably never tell you in a million years, but maybe the reason Connie set us up, so, um... Okay. Are you involved with Second Life? Is that like a cult or something? <laughs> no, no. Uh, worse. It's um, it's an online virtual world. Uh, like you create an avatar. A, a character who, who works, makes money, buys things, meets people. All online. Like, um, like last week, my avatar went to a Snow Patrol concert. It's this whole other fake life. Anyway, I, I was telling Connie about it when she said that she had the perfect girl for me, but now I'm begging you to pretend that I never said anything because I know it makes me seem nuts. I think I understand Connie's motivation. You see, I have recently developed a couple of imaginary friends. Imaginary friends? Like kids have? Hey, don't get all high and mighty with me, pal. You're doing imaginary work for imaginary money so that your imaginary self can go to an imaginary concert. You're right. I'm sorry. I mean, Snow Patrol's avatars were playing real music, but I'm in no position to judge at all. I'm sorry. Hey, um, why don't we get them together? See if my alter ego is compatible with your alter egos. <laughs> Come on, tell me about your friends. Why don't you go first? Catherine and Heather are here, so they can decide for themselves if they want to go any further. Right here. Wow. Your imaginary world is a lot easier to access than mine. OK, so Brett is 25 years old. He's a pitcher for the Seaside Bombers. In the off season, he tours with this alternative rock band, and he started this program for musicians on the road where they spend an hour in each city reading to underprivileged kids. He's 6'2", got blonde hair, killer handshake. Enough. What? What, what, oh. what? what did they say? Sorry, that's, it's Catherine. She thinks that jocks are stupid, musicians are filthy, reading to underprivileged kids is something only a pedophile would do, and a firm handshake probably comes from giving a lot of hand jobs. But Heather thinks that he sounds really great. She says that she has this 
fantasy where she's wearing a baseball jersey and nothing else. And she is crouched down in front of home plate. <laughs> and it looks like she's giving the pitcher signals, but actually she's touching herself, waiting for him to hit her strike zone. Well, tell Heather that Brett has an amazing slider. What does she look like? Uh, she's about 5'4", dirty blonde hair, round green eyes, really pouty lips, perky. Well, everything about her is perky. She sounds amazing. Sorry. My phone isn't emailing for some reason, and I have to send this file to work so they can stop harassing me. Um, is, is there a computer I could use for just a sec? Unless you're kicking me out for being a weirdo, in which case I can send this from home, the whole time beating myself up for ever saying anything. <laughs> no, you can stay. For a still as yet undetermined amount of time. It's in the other room, first door on your right. Thanks. Do you want to switch to white wine beer, or are you ready for organic death? Oh, 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 it is so not what you think. Oh. oh.